nurse in Spain that was infected and lived with a dog and dogs are susceptible to Ebola. So that dog Ciro converted and developed antibodies to Ebola. And even though it was unclear or uncertain if that dog presented a risk of transmission of Ebola to anyone else, uh, the Spanish authorities decided it was prudent to euthanize that dog. Now, very emotional story, right? This is a pet dog um, and, and a person who cares very deeply about that and the public rallies behind it. Similarly, Nina Pham, the American nurse who was infected in Dallas, um, her dog was allowed to survive and was quarantined. And they made sure that that dog was not infected after uh, several incubation periods for the, the virus. So two ways to approach this. But my point is these become emotional issues and stories when people really, you know, can sympathize with caring about animals that not wanting to have to kill them. With livestock, unfortunately, when we deal with large populations of animals, there simply is a risk of transmission at a larger 